All right, guys, we are back. So I've been playing around with the settings a little bit and playing with everything. The bass is good. The treb is good. Um, back today, we are reviewing the S61 upgraded true wireless earbuds. So let's go ahead and show you what you get. So right away, let's open up and we see you get a manual, charging cable, extra ear pieces, and a carrying strap. You also get the charging case and the ear pieces inside here. On the back, it says warm tips. After use, wipe and dry charging contacts of the earphones, then put in the charging case. So once you open it up, you see right in here, now it's not blinking um, on, you know, in person, that's just the camera. It says 100% charged, so you know that, it, you know, you can keep track of how much battery charge it has. So it's pretty simple. Every time you open the lid, it lets you know, you know, your charge. So you go ahead, take out the earpiece. There is a piece of tape on each earpiece from start. Go ahead and make sure you remove that. So when you pull your earpiece out from its charging bay, so it is magnetic, so it will automatically go back in its charging spot and start charging. But when you pull it out, Every time you pull it out, it's going to try and connect to your Bluetooth device. So make sure whatever you're using, your cell phone or tablet or any other Bluetooth device, make sure you have it enabled and then you just simply connect to this. It's that simple. Once you close it, it automatically knows and it will start charging your earpieces. And then you charge the actual case with a USB charger that it provides. Let's go ahead and test out the earpieces. We can actually show you guys up close. That way you guys get a good idea on how everything looks. All right, let's open this up. So this is what they look like up close. Okay guys, so we have them in, and they do act as kind of like a uh, sound blocker, like for the outside. So like as I'm talking, um, it is going to help block sounds around you. But as you guys can see, this is how they look inside. So this is how they look on your ears. You can position them uh, any way you want. So if you want to turn it like up like this, you could have it up like this. However, it's comfortable in your own ears. Go ahead and do that. So what you want to do is get your cell phone and or whatever device you're using. Go under Bluetooth settings and enable Bluetooth and then connect to these. So as we go under Bluetooth and we hit connect. All right, now it's pairing and it's paired with these now. So we're gonna test out some songs. I can't do that on here because if you guys hear the music, it's copyright issues and that's a whole nother mess. So I'm just gonna listen to some songs, probably spend about five, 10 minutes. I'll come back on camera, let you know. I know it's not fun that way. I know it's hard that way, but for copyright reasons, we have to do that. So see you guys in a bit. All right guys, we are back. So I've been playing around with the settings a little bit and playing with everything. The bass is good, the treb is good. Um, the treb, shockingly, is not, you know, the best feature of this. Actually, the bass is better than the treb. So normally when you're reviewing um, these earpieces, the treb is almost always perfect and the bass is kind of like, you know, it's not bad or it's, it's okay. But this, actually, the treb is kind of okay but the bass is really good so um, if you like bass like if you like your songs to actually have a little bit of a kick to them these definitely give off a good bass the treb you know it's decent it's not the best treb that I have listened to but the treb is decent but the bass is definitely really good for being such a small little item so I hope this video has helped you I wish I could you know have you guys listen to the music but you would be listening to the music through my earphones, through a camera microphone, and it's just not the same. So um, 
but if you like the style and if you like more of a bass, these will work good. And I did not have any disconnection of the Bluetooth. I had my phone across the room and it did not disconnect. So if you are got your phone or device in your pocket, good chance that it's not going to disconnect and have no interferences. So check out the manual for more features.